All India Radio presents Morning News. Good morning. I'm Anuja Kumar and with me is VC Pramod. The headlines. Senior BJP leader Pramod Sawant to be sworn in as Chief Minister of Goa today for second consecutive term. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says India achieving 400 billion dollar exports target signifies its potential and capability. Prime Minister calls upon students, teachers and parents to join Pariksha Pe Charcha on 1st of April. External Affairs Minister S J Shankar arrives in Colombo on a 3 day visit to Sri Lanka to hold bilateral and bimstek meetings over next 2 days. Russia and Ukraine to hold fresh round of talks in Turkey today. Annual Amarnath Yatra to begin on 30th of June this year. Prestigious Oscar Awards for the year 2022 announced in Los Angeles. Ace Indian shuttler PV Sindhu wins women's singles title at Swiss Open Badminton Championships at Basel and in IPL cricket Punjab Kings beat Royal Challengers Bangalore by 5 wickets while Delhi Capitals defeat Mumbai Indians by 4 wickets. As we start the bulletin we appeal to our listeners to stay safe from COVID-19 by following these four simple steps. Get fully vaccinated, wear a face mask, maintain two gaz ki duri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. As a nation celebrates the 75th year of independence, a series of events are being organized by the government as a part of Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav. To commemorate the occasion as a Jan Utsav, All India Radio News brings its listeners a special quiz on India's freedom movement and its glorious history. The quiz is being conducted every Monday and Tuesday in the morning news since 16th of August and will continue till 15th August 2022. India Post has joined hands as the logistics partner with All India Radio News for the Amrit Mahotsav quiz. and coming to our 65th question of the amrit mahotsav quiz in english darthoma renple a member of the azad hind fauj fought against the colonial rule and was captured by the british in 1944 but was later released from lucknow jail following the intervention of mahatma gandhi which indian state does this valiant freedom fighter hail from i repeat the question darthoma renple a member of the azad hind fauj fought against the colonial rule and was captured by the british in 1944 but was later released from lucknow jail following the intervention of mahatma gandhi which indian state does this valiant freedom fighter hail from listeners can send their responses to the question over whatsapp on 8826546262 i repeat 8826546262 6262 or through email on amrit mahotsav quiz at the rate prasadbharati.gov.in and now the news in detail senior bjp leader pramod sawant will be sworn in as the chief minister of goa today for the second consecutive term the swearing in ceremony will be held at dr shyama prasad mukherjee stadium near panji at 11 am Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and other dignitaries will be present on the occasion. More than 10,000 people are likely to attend the event at the stadium. Dr. Savant is an MLA from Sankhalim in North Goa. He was sworn in as the Chief Minister of Goa for the first time in March 2019 after the death of Manohar Parrikar. In the recent assembly polls, BJP won 20 seats, one short of the majority in the 40-member house. three independent MLAs and two legislators of the Maharashtrawadi Gomantak Party have extended their support to the BJP Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has recommended Governor Phagu Chauhan to remove Mukesh Sahani from his post of Cabinet Minister. This comes after the Bharatiya Janata Party submitted a letter to Nitish Kumar requesting the removal of Mukesh Sahani from his post of Minister for Animal Husbandry and Fisheries. Earlier all three MLAs of Mukesh Sahani led Vikas Shil Insan Party VIP has quit their party and joined the BJP. 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi has exuded pride that India achieved the export target of $400 billion. Addressing the people through his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio, Mr. Modi said Made in India products are now reaching new markets in every corner of the world. He pointed out that when Indians become vocal for local, the local becomes global. He asked people to make the local global and augment the prestige of Indian products further. The Prime Minister said the demand for items made in India is increasing all over the world. He said it also signifies that the supply chain of India is getting stronger. भारत से एक्सपोर्ट का आंकड़ा 400 बिलियन डॉलर पर पहुंच गया है देश विराट कदम तब उठाता है जब सपनों से बड़े संकल्प होते हैं जब संकल्पों के लिए दिन रात ईमानदारी से प्रयास होता है तो वो संकल्प सिद्ध भी होते हैं और आप देखिए देश के कोने कोने से नए नए प्रोडक्ट जब विदेश जा रहे हैं असम के हेलाकांडी के लेदर प्रोडक्ट हो या उस्मानाबाद के हैंडलूम प्रोडक्ट बीजापुर की फल सब्जियां हो और चंदौली का ब्लैक राइस सबका एक्सपोर्ट बढ़ रहा है अब आपको लद्दाख की विश्व प्रसिद्ध एप्रिकॉट दुबई में भी मिलेगी और सऊदी अरब में तमिलनाडु से भेजे गए केले मिलेंगे और सबसे बड़ी बात ये कि नए नए प्रोडक्ट्स नए नए देशों को भेजे जा रहे हैं The Prime Minister stated that made in India products are now more visible than ever before in foreign countries. Mr Modi said the potential of India in this field is great and farmers, artisans, weavers, engineers, small entrepreneurs, MSME sector are the true strength. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will interact with students, parents and teachers in a program Pariksha Pe Charcha on 1st of April at Tal Kathora Stadium in New Delhi. He will talk about stress-free exams. In a tweet Mr Modi has called upon the dynamic exam warriors their parents and teachers to join this year's Pariksha Pe Charcha on the 1st of April Agar aapko focus karna hai to pehle deep focus hona sikh lijiye Question paper aane ke baad bas pita ji ke scooter ko yaad kar dijiye bas ki hum vifalataon mein bhi safalta ki shiksha pa sakte hain जब कठिन को अटेंड करेंगे तो सरल तो और भी आसान हो जाए आपने क्रेडिट मुझे दे दी दरअसल क्रेडिट आपके माँ बाप को जाती है परीक्षा के अंत ही जिंदगी नहीं है तो आप लोग चाहते हैं कि मैं आज आपके पेरेंट्स की क्लास लू <laughs> परीक्षा की बात पीएम के साथ Pariksha Pe Charcha is an interactive program wherein students, parents and teachers from India and overseas interact with the Prime Minister to discuss and overcome the stress emerging out of examinations in order to celebrate life as an utsav. School students of classes 9 to 12, teachers and parents are selected through an online competition for the program. Talking to AIR News about the program, educationist Sant Chaudhary said, ये अत्यंत खुशी की बात है कि हमारे देश के माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने सभी अभिभावकों से एवं छात्र छात्राओं से जो कि परीक्षा में सम्मिलित होने जा रहे हैं उन्हें तनाव मुक्त करने के लिए कुछ सुझाव देने जा रहे हैं प्रधानमंत्री जी का बहुत बहुत आभार जो अपने ऐसे व्यस्तम कार्यक्रम में से कुछ समय निकाल करके हमारे छात्र छात्राओं के लिए अभिभावकों के लिए इस तरह का आयोजन किया है और वो कुछ सुझाव देने के लिए अपना समय दिए है इससे अवश्य ही छात्र छात्राएं तनाव मुक्त होंगे अहवाबक के ऊपर भी जो एक तनाव रहता है उससे वो भी मुक्त होंगे और इस तरह के सुझाव को हम अगर अमल में लाएंगे तो अवश्य ही ये उपयोगी सिद्ध होगा और छात्र छात्राएं अपने भविष्य को और अच्छा बनाने के लिए सुअवसर प्राप्त करेंगे The annual Amarnath Yatra will begin on the 30th of June this year with all COVID protocols in place. Sri Amarnath Shrine Board Chairman and Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha said that the online registration for the yatra will begin on 11th of April. He said the 43-day long yatra will conclude on 11th of August when the festival of Raksha Bandhan will be celebrated. The decision to commence the pilgrimage from 30th of June was taken at a meeting of Sri Amarnath Ji Shrine Board at Raj Bhavan in Jammu yesterday. Talking to EIR News, Nitish Bhat Kumar, Chief Executive of the Shrine Board said, "The board has decided to start the yatra from both Pahalgam and Baltal routes simultaneously." 
श्री अमरनाथ जी यात्रा दिनांक 30 जून 2022 से इस बार शुरू होगी तिरालीस दिनों तक चलने वाली ये यात्रा 11 अगस्त को रक्षाबंधन के दिन समाप्त होगी यात्रा दोनों रूटों से चलेगी बालटाल से और पहलगांव दोनों रूटों से जो इस बार की यात्रा है उसमें बोर्ड की ये प्लानिंग है कि आने वाले यात्रा में हम श्रीनगर से भी चौपर सेवा शुरू करें जिससे श्री अमरनाथ जी के दर्शन दर्शनार्थी चौपर के माध्यम से होली केप तक जाके कर सके जो कोविड की सारे प्रोटोकॉल है वो फॉलो होंगे और बाकी ट्रैक के अपग्रेडेशन की बहुत सारे कार्य हम लोग इस बार कर रहे हैं जिससे यात्रियों को यात्रा करने में ज्यादा सुविधा प्राप्त हो हेल्थ के लिए जो अन्य जगहों पे रूट में कैंप लगाए जाएंगे जिससे उन्हें बेहतर स्वास्थ्य सुविधाएं आवश्यक जो है उन्हें मिले और इसके साथ साथ यात्रा को और सुगम और बेहतर बनाने के लिए बोर्ड जो है कई और कार्य इस बार ले रहा है जिससे की तीस जून ऐसी प्रारम्भ होने वाली यात्रा यात्रियों के लिए आनंददायक हो In Madhya Pradesh the virtual grah pravesh for 5 lakh 21000 beneficiaries of the state under Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Rural will be performed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi tomorrow so far more than 24 lakh 10000 houses have been completed under the scheme in the state a report under this scheme all eligible homeless families and families living in kachcha houses will be provided pakka houses by the year 2024 equipped with all basic facilities people living in plain areas are provided rupees 1 lakh 20000 per house while rupees 1 lakh 30000 in integrated action plan for tribal and backward districts in addition to this integrated action plans are also being made by linking various schemes in such villages or gram panchayats where more than 100 houses are being built to ensure all round development of the village self help groups have also been linked with housing construction work in the state puja pivardhan air news bhopal you are listening to the morning news on all india radio a reminder of the headlines before we move on senior bjp leader pramod sawant to be sworn in as chief minister of goa today for second consecutive term prime minister narendra modi says india achieving 400 billion dollar exports target signifies its potential and capability prime minister calls upon students teachers and parents to join pariksha pe charcha on the 1st of april external affairs minister s jay shankar arrives in colombo on a 3 day visit to sri lanka to hold bilateral and bimstek meetings over the next 2 days russia and ukraine to hold fresh round of talks in turkey today annual amarnath yatra to begin on the 30th of june this year prestigious Oscar awards for the year 2022 announced in Los Angeles. Ace Indian shuttler PV Sindhu wins women's singles title at Swiss Open Badminton Championships at Basel. And in IPL cricket, Punjab Kings beat Royal Challengers Bangalore by 5 wickets while Delhi Capitals defeat Mumbai Indians by 4 wickets. For quick news updates on the clock, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. अपने बिजनेस को बढ़ाने के लिए लीजिए आकाशवाणी का सहयोग और दीजिए उसे बुलंदियों के पंख आपका बिजनेस लोकल है या राष्ट्रीय आकाशवाणी देती है उपभोक्ताओं तक पहुंचने का हर विकल्प और अब तो आप घर दफ्तर या दुकान पर बैठे बैठे कर सकते हैं आकाशवाणी के किसी भी केंद्र के लिए विज्ञापनों की बुकिंग आकाशवाणी के विभिन्न चैनलों आरोप विज्ञापन देना सुलभ और सस्ता बुकिंग है तो संपर्क करें आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो पर आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो क्या आप कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम की तैयारी कर रहे हैं ऑल इंडिया रेडियो के नए प्रोग्राम अभ्यास में हमारे विशेषज्ञ आपके सवालों का देंगे जवाब शनिवार रात साढ़े नौ बजे एफ एम गोल्ड आरोप इस बार का विषय है हिस्ट्री आप इससे जुड़े सवाल व्हाट्सएप करें 9289094044 पर या सवाल ईमेल भी कर सकते हैं अभ्यास डॉट ए आई आर इतिहास विषय पर आपके प्रश्न हमें 30 मार्च तक मिल जाने चाहिए आपका अभ्यास हमारा प्रयास शो केस योर टैलेंट एंड विन एक्साइटिंग कैश प्राइजेज एंड मर्चेंडाइज पार्टिसिपेट नाउ In the Election Commission of India's National Voter Awareness Contest, log on to voterawarenesscontest.in to participate in the poster, song, video, slogan, and quiz contest. Send your entries to voter-contest at the rate eci.gov.in before 31st March. 
वेलकम बैक टू द मॉर्निंग न्यूज ऑन ऑल इंडिया रेडियो एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर एस जयशंकर अराइव्ड इन कलम्बो यस्टरडे ऑन अ थ्री डे विजिट टू श्रीलंका ही विल होल्ड बायोलैटरल एंड बिम्स्टेक मिनिस्टीरियल मीटिंग्स ओवर द नेक्स्ट टू डेज इन अ ट्वीट डॉक्टर जयशंकर सेड ही हैज अराइव्ड इन कलम्बो फॉर बायोलैटरल विजिट एंड बिम्स्टेक मीटिंग डॉक्टर जयशंकर अराइव्ड इन श्रीलंका आफ्टर कंक्लूडिंग हिज विजिट टू द मॉलडीव speaking at an inauguration of the National College for Policing and Law Enforcement in Male external affairs minister dr s j shankar said defense cooperation is another key pillar of the partnership lauding maldives policy policy of india first and india's policy of neighborhood first the minister said in recent times under the leadership of prime minister narendra modi and president ibrahim mohammad soli the india maldives partnership has achieved momentum and indeed dynamism on an unprecedented scale russia and ukraine will hold a fresh round of talks in turkey from today the countries will hold talks from march 28th to 30th in turkey so far both countries have held several negotiations about opening humanitarian corridors in ukrainian cities most affected by military strikes but none has yielded results the talks in turkey however will be the second round of high level talks between negotiators from both the countries meanwhile the united states is continuing efforts to soften comments on saturday from president joe biden who said russian leader vladimir putin cannot remain in power during an impassioned speech in the polish capital of warsaw In a setback to Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan, a cabinet member belonging to Pakistan Tehreek-e-Insaf's party PTI ally Jamhuri Watan Party has resigned a day before no conference vote. Shah Zain Bukhti, who was serving as a special assistant to Prime Minister SAPM on Harmony and Reconciliation in Balochistan, has resigned and joined the Pakistan Democratic Movement, a political front opposing the Imran Khan regime. Meanwhile over 50 federal and provincial ministers have reportedly gone missing as the cricketer turned politician faces the crucial no confidence motion and now let's listen to our special program azadi ka safar highlighting the importance of the day during the freedom struggle azadi ka amrit mahotsav Azadi ka safar with AIR News Birth of a Nation India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed AIR News brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day Indian endru solvo andu solli perumidam kolvo thingachadesam padaikka nam kaigalai inaithu In today's episode we remember freedom fighter Sundara Shastri Satyamurthy who died on the 28th of March 1943 a leading activist of Madras presidency Satyamurthy is regarded as the mentor of Madras state chief minister and Bharat Ratna K Kamaraj Satyamurthy was born on the 19th of August 1887 in Puddukottai in Tamil Nadu A lawyer by profession Satyamurthy was attracted to the national movement from an early age and joined the Indian National Congress in 1919 he was chosen by the Congress as its representative to Britain to protest the Rowlatt Act and the Montagu Chelmsford reforms Satyamurthy joined the Swaraj party along with senior congress leaders like C R Das and Motilal Nehru He was arrested in 1930 for attempting to hoist the tricolor above a temple in Madras. Satyamurthy played a major role in the Congress's victory in the 1937 polls to the Madras Legislative Assembly. In 1939, Satyamurthy became the mayor of Madras. As mayor, he constructed the Pundi Reservoir. to solve drinking water scarcity in the city and was the first to launch the beautification scheme for the city with the help of volunteers of various social service organizations in 1942 after the quit india movement started he was arrested and sent to nagpur jail the jail terms took a toll on his health and he died on the 28th of march 1943 Satyamurthy was a man of the masses 
and believed in their welfare. We salute the great fear. Remember freedom fighter Abdul Bari, who died on the 28th of March 1947. A lecturer by profession, Abdul Bari was born in 1892 in district Jahanabad, Bihar. He took part in the freedom struggle under the leadership of Dr. Rajendra Prasad and A. N. Sinha and played an active role in the non-cooperation movement and the subsequent struggles against the colonial government. In 1937, Bari became the deputy speaker in Bihar at the time of the first Congress government in the province. He was also appointed the vice chairman of the Bihar Labour Inquiry Committee. He later was involved in the labour movements of the region and began organising the workers in their struggles against their exploiters. Quit India movement, he plunged into the mainstream politics and was arrested and imprisoned at Hazaribagh jail. After his release, he resumed his activities in the workers' struggle. His prominent role in the Bihar freedom struggle, his organizational ability and political standing enabled him to become the president of Bihar Pradesh Congress Committee in 1946. When the communal riots started engulfing Bihar in 1947, he played a prominent role in stopping its spread. On the 28th of March 1947, while he was coming to Patna to meet Gandhi ji, he was brutally killed on Patna Patuha Road by unidentified miscreants. Gandhi ji visited his home to meet the bereaved family members and paid glowing tributes to his selfless service to the nation. All India Radio salutes the great martyr We also remember freedom fighter Chaudhary Bansilal who died on the 28th of March 2006 born in Bhivani district of Haryana on the 26th of August 1927 Bansilal was the secretary of Praja Mandal in the Loharu state from 1943 to 1944 after independence Bansi Lal joined politics and served three separate terms as the chief minister of Haryana. He is considered to be the architect of modern Haryana and was part of the famous Lal Trio of Haryana which also included Tau Devi Lal and Bhajan Lal. We salute the great Indian. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal has said that more than 16 lakh people have visited to the Indian Pavilion at Dubai Expo 2020. Mr. Goyal said this shows the attraction of the world towards India. अंतर्राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर सबसे ज्यादा अगर विजिटर्स कोई पेविलियन पे आए हैं तो वो भारत का पेविलियन है 16 लाख से अधिक विजिटर आ चुके हैं आजकल तो लगभग 20,000 लोग रोज जाते हैं पिछले हफ्ते तीन घंटे की वेटिंग लिस्ट की लाइन ये दर्शाती है आज भारत के प्रति कितना आकर्षण है और पेविलियन जो बना है वो शायद पूरे दुबई एक्सपो का अमंग से लार्जेस्ट पेविलियन यू सऊदी के बाद इस पेविलियन में भारत के इतिहास हमारी धरोहर हमारा परंपरा भी दिखाई गई है वर्तमान भारत की बढ़ती हुई ताकत दिखाई गई है और एक भविष्य में भारत किस प्रकार से एक विश्व शक्ति बनेगा इसकी भी झलक दी गई है तो एक प्रकार से एक पूरे भारत को महसूस करना उसका अनुभव लेने का एक मौका दुबई एक्सपो में इस पेविलियन ने लोगों को दिया At the 94th Academy Award ceremony, Jane Campion won the Best Director Award for the film The Power of the Dog. Ms. Campion is the first woman to ever compete in the category twice. In 1994, she was nominated for The Piano. Sci-fi adventure film Dune, which was nominated in 10 categories, has won six awards. The Oscar Award for Best Supporting Actor went to Troy Kotsur for his role in Coda. He is the first deaf male actor ever to be nominated and to win an Oscar. A report. Oh, oh, oh. Ain't nobody like it. Hey, hey, try. This is the 
The 94th Academy Awards ceremony, presented by the Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences, honored the best films released between March 1 and December 31st, 2021. The ceremony, hosted by Regina Hall, Amy Schumer, and Wanda Sykes, takes place at the Dolby Theatre in Hollywood, Los Angeles, California, this morning, Indian time, where awards are being given in 10 categories. These are some of the prominent awards declared so far. Best Supporting Actress, Ariana Debo's West Side Story, Best Sound, Dune, Best Cinematography, Dune, Best Documentary Short Subject, The Queen of Basketball, Best Visual Effects, Dune, Best Animated Feature, Encanto, Best Animated Short Film, The Windshield Wiper, Japanese Film, Drive My Car won Best International Feature, Kenneth Branagh won the Best Original Screenplay Award for Belfast, Sian Hader wins Best Adapted Screenplay for Coda. Samuel Jackson, Elaine May and Liv Woolman will be honored with Honorary Academy Awards for 2022. The Gene Hesholt Humanitarian Award will be handed over to Danny Glover. Ravi Kumar, AAR News, Delhi. Swiss Open Badminton Championships 2022, two-time Olympic medalist P.V. Sindhu has won the women's singles title, beating Thailand's Busan and Ombang Rumpa 21-16, 21-8 in straight games at Basel yesterday evening. In cricket, Punjab Kings beat the Royal Challengers Bangalore by five wickets in the IPL 2022 at the DY Patel Stadium in Mumbai last night. In another IPL match, Delhi Capitals beat Mumbai Indians by four wickets at the Brebon Stadium in Mumbai. Today, Gujarat Titans will be locking horns with the Lucknow Super Giants at the Wankhede Stadium in Mumbai at 7.30 p.m. Now let us take a look at the weather forecast for today. Srinagar will have mainly clear sky. Temperature will hover between 7 and 25 degrees Celsius. Jammu will have mainly clear sky. Minimum temperature will 17 degrees Celsius, while the maximum will be around 35 degrees. Leh is likely to have partly cloudy sky. Gilgit will have mainly clear sky. Muzaffarabad will have mainly clear sky. National capital Delhi is likely to have clear sky today. Mumbai will have mainly clear sky today. Chennai is likely to have partly cloudy sky. And now an overview of today's newspapers. Most headlines in all the dailies have referred to the Prime Minister's monkey bath yesterday. Export target met as our goods are in demand. Hindustan Times quotes the Prime Minister. The pioneer states India's export feat shows its stronger supply chain. To reduce work stress and enhance the happiness quotient, a 100-day annual leave plan for CAPF Jawan soon is a headline in the Tribune. Financial Express notes PVR Inox merged to create largest multiplex chain. Responding to a plea that Hindus be given minority tag in some states, an Indian Express headline quotes the center telling the apex court states too can define minority status. IMD predicts heat wave in northwest central India for the next five days. And finally, the Times of India writes mixed luck for India as Sindhu triumphs at Swiss Open, Pranoy runner-up. And before we end the bulletin, a reminder of today's question of the Amrit Mahotsav quiz. Darthauma Renthale, a member of the Azad Hind Forge, fought against the colonial rule and was captured by the British in 1944, but was later released from Lucknow jail following the intervention of Mahatma Gandhi. Which Indian state does this valiant freedom fighter hail from? What's up your response on 882-654-6262? And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Senior BJP leader Pramod Savan to be sworn in as Chief Minister of Goa today for second consecutive term. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says, India achieving $400 billion exports target signifies its potential and capability. Prime Minister calls upon students, teachers and parents to join Pariksha Pe Charcha on 1st of April. External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar arrives in Colombo on a three-day visit to Sri Lanka to hold bilateral and BIMSTEC meetings over next two days. Russia and Ukraine to hold fresh round of talks in Turkey today. Annual Amarnath Yatra to begin on 30th of June this year. Prestigious Oscar Awards for the year 2022 announced in Los Angeles. Ace Indian Shuttler P.V. Sindhu wins women's singles title at Swiss Open Badminton Championships at Basel. And in IPL cricket, Punjab Kings beat Royal Challengers Bangalore by five wickets, while Delhi Capitals defeat Mumbai Indians by four wickets. For details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.gov.in and News on EIR app. And with that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.